So Spurge, after the scooter and the moped, I got this puppy. That's my first real biker. Right There's a Oh, I like that. Check out this parallel twin. I paid 170 bucks and a case of beer for that bad boy. Ooh, you got ripped off. Yeah, about $170 friend. too much. Too much, yeah. <laughs> you know this puppy, my uh, my little rebel. The rebel, there. man. We made a video about that bike. Yeah, it was good. How did you fit on that, by the way? Uh, I kind of did. <laughs> <laughs> this was actually the first bike, man. That's the uh, that's the old Triumph right when she was brand new. You're gonna make fun of me fitting on that thing with hair like that, Farah. It's bouncy. Here's my first fast bike. That was an old bandit. I can't even look at the bike because that seat looks like it was upholstered from the same guy that did a golf cart for me once. <laughs> my taste was all in my mouth. Look, it's difficult to choose your first bike and some of the subsequent ones as well. We had zero help and very little adult supervision and it shows. But you can learn from some of our mistakes. Lem Lem and I put together a video series on how to choose a motorcycle as well as how to buy a motorcycle. And it'll help you navigate some of the pitfalls that we both experienced along the way. Perhaps you're looking at buying a used bike from a private party? My colleague Chris has been looking for his first bike. That's where old Lem Lem comes into play. It's time to get in the game. Bike looks really good. I don't really care if the seller is the Pope. The Pope better have clean paper. We're here today at Martin Moto. So the first thing you want to do when you get inside is spend some time looking at the selection of motorcycles available. After all, this is the fun part. So these are bikes really you could think of as the Cadillac of dirt bikes. Check out this leggy beauty over here. This large barge you can see next to me is a touring motorcycle. Here we have a sport bike. I'm Spurge, enjoy the ride. Welcome to the LA Army to June Deals 2017. You know the drill with the best of what's new, what's in stock, what's just arriving at Rebzilla.com. Now, before I dive into the ever sexy hive as Brian, that's right, I called you sexy, let's comment on Spurgeon and Liam really quickly. For years, we've shot over 6,000 videos covering bikes, covering gear. These days, we're thinking about how else we can help advance the experience of the motorcycle enthusiast. And that starts with how to choose a bike, how to buy a new bike, how to buy a used bike, all the things I wish I knew when somebody could have talked me out of a carbureted bike for my first motorcycle many moons ago. Watch Spurgeon and Lemmy roll that out later this summer. Now, back to Brian. Man, you're looking good today. 2K giveaway for the month of June. Choose your own Italian, $2,000 in Dionese, AGV, spend it however you like, revzilla.com slash win. And just to kind of kick off the flavor this month, we have one of our favorite jackets from Dionese, the super aggressive, hardcore Dionese Super Rider, which is a mixture of leather, mesh, aggressive stretch materials, really set up for hot weather aggressive riding. And you obviously have the new Piece de GPR, which is the Rossi helmet replacing the Piece de GP, taking that leap forward. Again, spend the money however you want between Dionese AGV, Revzilla.com slash win. And keep in mind, we have new content rolling out, but we're also no stranger to bike events as well as new bike releases. Spurgeon's gonna show up on the new Street Triple, and we actually made a Lemmy flat track race in which he came in on the podium a couple weeks ago. Check out the lifestyle piece that we're gonna be rolling out shortly. And remember, you can click shop the full collection, revzilla.com slash June 17, read other rider reviews, watch detailed breakdown videos of everything I'm gonna show you today. Now onto the new product. After that, we're gonna move into dirt bikes, stuff that's meant to go off road for those of you who are looking to have a dirty adventure. That is so unbelievably fing distracting. What do you say we move on to the next motorcycle? Whee! What the f are you doing over there the entire time that I'm talking? This large barge you can see next to me? No, I'm not talking about Spurgy. <laughs> what are you doing? You're like doing jumping you're, jacks over here. I was here. hoping you were gonna do that. Yeah, like, I don't I really don't know what you're doing. Like at this point, don't I'm, act I'm, like I'm, I'm the now. one that's f***ing you up. You're you not helping. Say. You're like putting on a show over there. <laughs> I'm working the f***ing mime. <laughs> The theme of deals for the month of June is now arriving because many of the products we're gonna show you today, really we've been talking about, they've made it into gear guides, and we've been blue in the face waiting for them to show up. So first up to my left, we're gonna start with Dionese, which has a handful of new heritage products just hitting. This is the Dionese Legacy, celebrating 45 years of Dionese. Now, on Hybus Brian to my left, you see the black version, which covers Dionese. 70 years of AGV, there's also a brown heritage version of that jacket. But the theme here is a little bit more low profile. So one millimeter cowhide, pockets for armor that aren't included. It comes in under the $500 mark, but really the thing that's gonna jump out at you is all of the blacked out Dionese logos that cover all of the decades they've been around. So we see it down the sleeve, we see it along the fronts. Again, it's a premium, more stylized feeling leather, but it's lightweight, low profile. Hive is Brian, six foot, 195, 42 inch chest. He's wearing a size 52, no surprises there. This is the Dionese Legacy. Goodbye, kind sir. And remember, there's that brown version 
conversion heritage covering AGV. Now diving into my table, I'm completely shifting gears and really going from fashion in Italy to hardcore engineering in Germany. This is the new Schubert R2. Now when we first saw it at first glance, we looked at it and we said, okay, Schubert did a new full face helmet. But once we got into the guts of it, we were actually quite impressed. It steals a lot of the new DNA from the new C4 helmet. And mainly that's gonna be the DFP technology, which allows the direct fiber processing for the construction of this helmet that carries a DOT only rating. Now there are rumblings on the horizon that will go DOT ECE, but right out of the gates, if you wanna go do a track day in it, somebody's gonna call you because you don't have that ECE sticker. So again, you're around that $500 mark, it's gonna cover the quiet and lightweight bases extremely well for Schubert, but the other thing to call out is the fitment. Schubert typically goes intermediate to long oval. This is neutral to round, so it's finally nice to see Schubert making a helmet that's gonna cover a multitude of riders, whether you're upright, three quarter, or even in the tuck, but now if you're a little more circumferential, little bit more round, you're good to go with the new R2 from Schubert. Watch our detail breakdown video. From there, we get a little bit more stylish without losing our technicality. This is the new Rocker Tech Jean. Now remember, Rocker makes super high-end jeans out of Switzerland. They're actually made in Portugal, designed in Switzerland. And their theme on these jeans is no seams. Now when you get into the Rocker Tech, what they've done is they've eliminated all, all extraneous layers of the material. So in the original Rockers, you'd have your exterior premium denim. On the inside, you have your Dyneema layer, which will give you the slide and abrasion resistance on the rocker tech that has actually worked into the outer shell you have cotton which is spun around armolith that ultra high molecular weight polyethylene giving it its slide rating but you'd never know that because the cotton is the only thing touching your skin still going to be north of that 400 dollars mark and remember by going from two layers to one even though you're not sacrificing anything by way of cost or investment you're getting better breathability now middle of my table one of the standouts from our gear guide for this season this is the forma elite and if we look at it you're going to say that's a stylish work boot it looks like a timberland but there's a lot more under the surface and that's why it stood out to us around the 200 mark you have a brown you also have a tan this is a waterproof breathable ce rated basically a timberland style work boot for motorcycle riding again everything you'd expect lug sole it's going to carry a decent rating on the stiff scale but if we see it you're typically not seeing boots that look like this carry the waterproof rating and they've done a nice job hiding the technology for protection in the ce rated form both in the toe in the heel as well as in the ankle cups without sacrificing the style again this is the forma elite and keep in mind we're gonna ship free everything you see here over 39 bucks. And I love if you click our logo, subscribe to us at Revzilla on our YouTube channel, leave us your comments or questions, your feedback on anything we're rolling out for our deals video for the month of June. Now, going tech for a second, this is the Link In Ride Pal. It's actually made by Cena 4LS2. If we look at it around the $200 mark, why you'd buy this over something like a Cena or a Cardo is because it is fully integrated for all full face. LS2 model. So what that allows you to do is really hide all of the components of this Bluetooth communication system, which is rider to rider up to 400 meters, gives you music sharing, gives you A2DP, AVRCP, many of the main configurable controls that you'd see on a Bluetooth unit, but ultimately the battery, the antenna, the speakers, the boom, they all fit seamlessly within the EPS on the newer full face LS2s. So again, you're getting more of that OE fit versus something like a Cena 10R, which actually has a piece that sits on the side for controls. So again, that's the Link in Ride Pal. Again, does it carry the same technical rating as the newer Bluetooth units on the market? It doesn't. It's not going to be dated technology, but again, Bluetooth 3.0 is not as good as Bluetooth 4.0, but you're trading that off to get the fully integrated OE style fit in conjunction with LS2. And last up on the table, I have my Shoei RFSR. Now, I rode this helmet in the wind tunnel in Japan in the month of March with Shoei, and really, if I look at it, our joke is but we call it the Shoei RF Senior, which means it's a little bit more of a conservative approach. When we look at it, it's around the $400 mark, a little bit less expensive than RF1200, which we absolutely love, but it carries the same basic baseline of technology. Snell, DOT rated, three pounds, nine ounces. Again, it's a little bit better suited for the upright or three-quarter riding position, whereas that RF1200, you can rock three-quarter or with your chin on the tank, taking it to the track. Just a different configuration, a little bit more conservative style, a little bit more conservative budget. That's the RFSR Watch Our Full Detail Breakdown video. And last up, I have Merlin finally launching, coming to the stock. Our staple product here that we're showcasing is the Merlin Milwich C4X. And what's special about the Merlin Milwich C4X is that it's using a mixture of Halley Stevenson's wax cotton integrated with a nylon poly, which actually gives it a better abrasion resistance 
and it also carries a higher slide resistance by using the C4X material. Now, if you're new to Merlin, they make a full range. Typically, it's gonna carry more of that European or British styling. Three season cold weather, elbow and shoulder armor included. They're CE rated, and you do have a Z liner, which is gonna be a waterproof breathable Risa liner that's non-removable. Again, thermal liner as well. Hive is Brian, six foot, 195, 42 inch chest. He's wearing a size large in the Merlin Milwich. And my favorite part about this jacket is that the wax, because of the new C4X material, actually will never wear off. Now let's roll on to the deals. And remember, this video is just one in a mini series. In I forgot what the hell I'm supposed to do now. <laughs> now remember too, this mini feed, it's a video in a mini series, not a mini series in a video. Scene eight alpha, take five marker. Trying to help you out with, we in the middle of a, God damn it. This mini series is part of a video for something, something that's not the right word. Scene eight A, take 12 marker. I'm Lemmy, and I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm Lemmy, and I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm Lemmy, and I'm out of here. Deals for the month of June focus on the top end of the market. To my left, I have Hyvis Brying wearing the Scorpion Yosemite. 30 days only for the month of June, 20% off the Yosemite as well as the Yukon. Now, if we look at the Yosemite, that's 390 down to 310, save almost 100 bucks. And if we look at it, SAS Tech Armor, full liner to drop system, waterproof and breathable liner comes out, thermal liner comes out. You also have a multitude of colors, including this Hyvis scheme and seven vents. It's a true four season adventure ride option and as always hive is brian he hasn't shrunk six foot 195 42 inch chest he's going to be wearing a size medium save almost 100 bucks goodbye i'm being all aggressive today now moving into my table we go more to the sports side of the spectrum this is the speed and strength ss 4000 it's gonna be 20 percent off there's also the speed and strength ss 3000 which is the fiberglass version that's 20 percent off as well if we think about pricing and savings 400 down to the 320 mark for the 4000 you get down to the high 100s for that 3000 if we look at it super lightweight three pounds four ounces for your carbon fiber version this is a carbon fiber lid through and through dot rated ece rated and the thing you need to keep in mind it is a long oval that is longer front to back long and narrower longer and narrower than my head which is intermediate so if you're long and narrow and you want to save some big bucks on a sport oriented carbon fiber go that route and ultimately if you don't want to invest in the threes check out the 3000 same configuration Watch our detailed breakdown video, but again, you're still gonna save that 20% off. Now from there, we go back into our high-end touring realm. This is a boot that makes me sad, and only makes me sad for one reason, and that reason is that we're closing it out, because I love this boot. This is the TCX X-Tour Evo GTX. What this was, was TCX's answer for the Daytona Roadstar out of Germany. If we look at it, 429, 25% off, down to the low 300, save over $100. This is gonna be a full height, dual gaitered Gore-Tex boot, integrating molecular D3O into the shin, full grain leather, dual zips on both sides. Again, it's got a great mixture of comfort and protection in its touring style sole. Save over $100 on this X-Tour Evo GTX. And again, being that it's GTX, Gore-Tex, waterproof breathable, guaranteed for life, TCX, we think you might have got strong, made a little too many of them. I recommend that you keep this guy in your line even out after we thin out the inventory. But again, this closeout, when they're gone, they're gone, and they're gonna move really quickly. Now, center of my table, we know this helmet, we love this helmet. This is the AGV Pista, and this is the Project VR46 2.0 helmet. 20% off. Started at $1,400, $280 off. Now it's coming to the low 1100s. Remember, this is the Valentino Rossi carbon fiber juggernaut. Now they're making room for the new Pista GPR with a different vent scheme and some upgrades that just came out. But again, race thoroughbred, chin on the tank, intermediate oval lens head shape, three pounds, six ounces. And if we look at it, you're gonna see the beautiful carbon fiber coming through. Again, 20% off just this Project VR46 2.0 graphic, which again, is a loud graphic with a lot of things offsetting the carbon fiber. But if you wanna save about $300 on AGV's top of the line that they first co-developed with Valentino Rossi that really influenced all of the overhauls they've made to so many of their helmets from that point. Check this guy out, save some cash, and keep on riding. Now, moving on to my left, I have a quick hit base layer piece for the ladies. This is the Saint Kevlar Merino long sleeve base player. 65% off, 120 down to 40 bucks. It's merino wool, and it's infused with Kevlar. So it's gonna wick sweat, keep you a little bit more warm. Again, when it starts to cool off, it's gonna be long sleeve, carries that V-neck style, but the nice part is it's going to have an infusion of Kevlar, which gives you some slide protection if you happen to go down without offsetting the comfort side of things. So again, rock solid, save 75 bucks there. 
And last up on my table is going to be our Shoei RF1200 Indy Marquez graphics. So we saw Alpine Stars came out with the Marquez Supertech R boots. Now the Indy Marquez graphic is that same red, white, and blue scheme. You have a big sparkly 93 across the back, but the theme here is 30% off. Mid sixes down to the mid fours save about $200 on this guy. Snell DOT, three pounds, eight ounces. Whether your chin's on the tank or in the upright riding position, we consider the RF1200 value for dollar to be still the best helmet on the market. And you can slide into one of these guys with a rock solid Marquez graphic, especially if you're a fan, by saving $200 just on this graphic. These are gonna go and then they will be gone forever. And last up, I have Hive is Brian, all stealthed out and blacked out today. You've seen this jacket before, we have a few left. This is the Revit Kronos G. GTX, three season bomb proof Gore Tex, removable waterproof, breathable bomb proof Gore Tex layer. Again, the gold standard, Dynex mesh for bomb proof protection from the mesh side of things and pro life armor. Hive is Brian, six foot, 195, 42 inch chest. He's wearing a size large. And again, this guy started at $700. We have it for around the $350 mark, 48% off. When they are gone, goodbye. We cornered the market on these closeouts. We love this jacket. But again, we're reminding you we still have a few left, and there could be some silvers left as well. So the next step in your journey is click the info button, your desktop, your mobile device. Visit the full collection, read other rider reviews, watch detailed breakdown videos on all the products, revzilla.com slash June 17. As always, we'll ship for free over 39 bucks. If you want to talk to a gear geek, see us at revzilla.com or 877-792-9455. Stay tuned for all of the moto, bike, how-to, and gear content we're going to be rolling out all summer long. They never let Lemmy, Spurgeon, and I sleep. We're going to keep it that way. I'm Anthony. We'll see you for July Deals. Signing off. Now this large barge you can see over here is Spurgeon, but Spurgeon is on top of another large barge, and that is a... <laughs> Did you just, you just lost your shit? That's great. <laughs> <laughs> able to handle really the roughest terrain that Mother, mother Nature has to offer. <laughs> I heard you start to say Mother <laughs> Teresa. Teresa. Yes. <laughs> the uh, roughest terrain that, uh, Mother Teresa had no, to offer. Saying, <laughs> Dirt bikes are made to tackle the roughest terrain that Mother Nature has to offer. As such, these bikes are constructed in a very... <laughs> what? What the hell is happening? <laughs> but I didn't say Mother Teresa. <laughs> <laughs> Standard bikes are typically <laughs> Typically they are, Lem, I agree with you. And that's why this is gonna be a favorite among most riders. Blah, 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 blah is exactly how I feel when I'm on this bike. None of this matters anymore. It's all gone so far awry.